Profits above and beyond expectations. Like I said, we finished the past two years in the top 10 in junior college football across the country. All right, an offensive yards per game, points per game, uh, offensive production, so on and so forth. And I think, like I said, this is the thing that really set us over the edge. Okay, we are a 90% post-snap RPO. Okay, post-snap RPO. We have a couple of free things, but this is gonna be all post-snap RPO stuff, all right? We wanna read as much as we possibly can, put as, ma as, 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 much, as many people as we can in conflict, okay? I think some of the things that it does, if you're a read team, okay, you wanna be able to dictate to the defense. You wanna eliminate gap exchange, forces exchange, eliminate, eliminate some conflict points within the defense, and I think having the ability of what we do, okay, to read people does that, gives us that capacity, okay? My philosophy is this, okay? If I have an undersized slot, all right, why the hell would I want him to bang his head against the wall against a 6'2", 6'3", apex player the majority of the game? All right, that's not a win-win battle for us. So our philosophy, or my philosophy is, if you will, is we want to, instead of blocking him, we want to be able to manipulate him, read him, okay? So this way we can have, we can take the onus on instead of our slot blocking that apex player, we can let him, our slot, do what he's good at, and that's getting the ball and playing against that guy in space, okay? So that's the philosophy on that. You know, I spoke about last uh, session about pre-snap horizontally stretching the defense. These RPOs, okay, will stretch the defense Post snap horizontally, okay? Post snap horizontally, all right? Obviously make linebackers run loudly. Sometimes they don't like to do that. Linebackers, especially for an in the box backer, they want to play downhill, okay? They want to play downhill, all right? Obviously it, gets the, it gives you the ability to get your playmakers to fall in space. And when we game plan things, and you heard me speak about it last session, we want to be able to get our playmakers the ball in space with vertical alleys to run in and make one-on-one -on -one matchups. All right, one-on-one -on -one matchups. So schematically, when you're diagramming some things RPO-wise, keep that in the back of your head when you're trying to get an RPO, all right? Be plus up, okay?